Let's take a look at what life in rural America is like now by looking at a story from Michigan. A high school student's mural angered parents over what they saw, uh, say are hidden messages. This was the mural. A high school student had the audacity to make a mural on the wall of the Child and Adolescent Health Center at the Grant Middle School in Michigan. School district officials and a high school student in Michigan have drawn the ire of parents who allege that a painted mural contains LGBTQ propaganda, a depiction of Satan, and a message of witchcraft now notice how lgbtq propaganda is not in quotes that is an aesthetic choice that the npr is engaging in which by the way signals something way worse for those of you who don't understand every time you say something like lgbtq propaganda especially when you're an outlet like npr there's a style guide you are supposed to put that in air quotes because that's not a real thing that's what they are saying. That's what the psychos are saying. Basically, when they don't put that in air quotes, they end up normalizing the actual fucking thing that uh, the, these psychotic, like, anti-trans weirdos are uh, claiming is happening. So that's actually very important. And it is a deliberate choice. The painting covers... Oh, there's a video of it. Thank you so much. That's what I was going to ask for. God damn. This is when Chatters and I are like we're clicking okay let's take a look at the local news coverage of this and there's going to be some videos from this matter as well from the public school board meeting they're insane and we begin tonight with the controversial painting by a grant high school student it's on a wall in the middle school building and tonight some parents complained to the school board about its messages 13 on your side's nate belt was at tonight's meeting and has details i put my art up there to make people feel welcome that's how Grant High School student Evelyn Gonzalez described. Obviously, she's working for the demons. This is Pizzagate shit all over again. Yeah, the point is not just that this is Pizzagate shit all over again. The point is that COVID ruined a part of people's brains and a sense of community that they already had a harder time cultivating. And now we have this fucking sea of conspiracy theorists running amongst the ranks of, of normal citizens. And a lot of other people are listening to their narratives. I feel something happened after COVID that basically accelerated the fucking brain rot of the average American citizen, where so many Normans, so many average American folk believe in a, in a charcuterie plate of different conspiracy theories that go from funny to like insanely damaging and because of the american attitude of entitlement they not only believe their own bullshit but they are willing to get in your face and take action it's like if you have someone who has schizophrenic urges, but they are, you know, taking their medication and they're not acting out on those desires, it's like, that's fine, right? It happens. Mental health is important. And I hope you're getting the adequate mental treatment you need and you deserve. But a lot of these other people have manifestations that I would say are borderline schizophrenic and they do not see it as a mental illness. They do not see it as anything but the real truth. They are operating like they are having some kind of ongoing extended schizophrenic attack and, and they are being enabled by others and willing and able to act out on those desires. That is the deepest v-neck shirt I've ever seen. It's not a v-neck shirt. It's a tank top. Okay. Describes this mural. She painted it inside the middle school's teen health center, and parents are concerned about some of its content. Now, this here is the mural in question. That was a hot topic tonight at the school board meeting here at Grant Middle School. Now, uh, the, some of the things that the parents were closely paying attention to included the trans flag on this t-shirt here, this symbol, which the artist says comes from a video game, as well as this symbol here, which she says is a Hispanic sign of protection. I feel like she did a really good job finding excuses to defend the things she put on. She's dunking on a child. Guys, pull away from the white wine mom for a second, okay? Stop saying I can fix her. Just because you think it doesn't mean you have to say it. Pull away from that right now for a brief moment and look at it from a top-down approach. This woman, this whole ass woman lived a life for like 40 fucking years and decided on the 40th year of her life i am going to fucking beef with a child over a child drawing there's a multitude of different factors at play here that i i don't even know if i can address adequately you got so much boredom that it broke their fucking brains you have alienation isolation 
You have social media directly tapping into the fucking mainframe, functionally lobotomizing these people. You have a sense of entitlement that causes them to not just sit around and, you know, seep in their own psychotic opinions, but instead take action. This has led to this whole ass adult going to a parent teacher meeting to fucking debate a child's drawing. And none of us are that stupid. Parents, she said like, uh -huh, we're on to you, bitch. Parents alleged the video game character is actually a depiction of Satan and that the hand symbol is demonic, with several even using the word witchcraft to describe- This is where we're at, dude. This is where we're at. They made that little girl cry, by the way. They made her fucking cry. She left the- she left a meeting in tears. Uh, one of the ladies, I don't know if they show this in the video, one of the ladies got up and was like, I think we really, you know, we really did a good job giving it to her, huh? These people are so vicious, dude. They're so fucking vicious. You always get so angry at people's stupidity. Why don't you just accept it and chill, dude? Listen, man, this is how I've been since day one. If I saw someone getting fucking bullied unjustifiably at the, at the playground, I said something about it. This is just happening at a much larger scale with the bullies being people that are, uh, you know, completely insane, small business owners and small business owner wives and the victims being like high school students if you can't call this out if you can't like draw a larger systemic problem from this microcosm i don't know what to tell you i mean this this conversation around like this is satanic that's satanic like can you imagine like we're at a we're at a level where like people are just saying like you know this is unironically satanic about children's drawings and you know this is going on as, as like normal discourse in everyday life in rural america that shit is crazy that's not what i'm a part of and that's not what i'm trying to put out there as for the transgender flag one parent implied it's a sickness when adults pretend things that are like real life it's a mental illness we need counselors we need the medication that's going to help bipolar disorder fix their brains with another saying it's discriminatory against Christian beliefs. We and our administration should uh, embrace that and get all of this hate material out of our schools. Every day I watch stuff like this every day i see stuff like this and it angers me dude to no end it frustrates me so much it makes me so fucking mad dude I, and and i don't know i just lose all fucking hope in humanity because it is hate material not everybody was opposed to the mural one parent was appalled by some of the words used i am a conservative right-wing gun-loving american but i have never seen more bigoted people in my life and wants to see more acceptance. That's awesome. She's right. Acceptance in her community. We have an array of people in this little town. And I'll be the first one to support our Christian families. <laughs> but we're not the only ones here. A student and friend of the artist who described themselves as queer says they were bullied throughout middle school and into high school. They say the mural makes them feel included. Maybe you should be more concerned with your children's behaviors instead of what art is on the wall. While some parents called for the mural to be removed or altered, Grant Public Schools' handbook includes a non-discriminatory policy, saying in part, any form of discrimination or harassment can be devastating to an individual's academic progress, social relationship, and or personal sense of self-worth. No decision was made on the future of the mural at Monday's meeting. It makes me a little happy, at least, that there are people who are willing to call this shit out. Same satanic energy. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. So you go into Hebrew. Yeah. I mean, this is this is what's happening. Like, this is what the internet has done to rural America, okay? This is so old. I know, I remember watching this way back in the fucking day. Except, you watch it happen. Go to a fucking public school board meeting, okay? And this is what is happening. The letter Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Short top, long... Like, we used to make jokes about this shit. We used to fucking joke around and say, like, ha, lol, these guys are so crazy. Now it's like they're dictating policy at the local level. Now they're running for office. Tail, you could have here in Hebrew 666 on the can. But my interest is the word monster. What do you see in the O? There's a cross. Okay. What has Christ got to do with an energy drink? let alone the name Monster. So I thought, well, maybe this is a Christian company then. BFC at the bottom of the can. Do you know what that stands for? Big fucking cock. Big fucking cock. Can. In fact, they write. Oh, shit.
I was close. She's a Red Bull agent. Dominic donated ten dollars. Said I live in Texas. And the majority of my mega Catholic family is are like this. I can't even talk to them about it because they punish me with hours of praying. What the fuck? I did on the side of the can, so I know that's the F word. Okay. Now, do you know what a milf is? Yes. That's on the box. <laughs> Milfs dig it, and you will too. This is not a Christian company at all. So why would they have put a cross on the can? Here is the message. Antichrist. 666 in Hebrew. And then the Bible talks about the beast in Revelation. And look at Monster's ad. This is their statement. You see these M's everywhere. Hats, t-shirts, bumper stickers. Is there another agenda here? If God can use people in product, so can Satan. And look at it this way. Even if they these kind of numerological conspiracy theories are not new to rural America in the slightest, is how rural America has always worked. I was taught these kinds of things in the Bible class as a child. I get it. I'm not talking about that. I'm showing this as an older video, as an example. The problem is these kinds of conspiracy theories have always existed, but they never guided local policy in the way that it does now. Because these people have nothing else going on, because they feel increasingly more alienated, more isolated, that they are looking for any kind of fucking community building, and they're doing community building around these fucking conspiracies. And they are motivated and, uh, to, to act out. That's the difference. It's crazy. The mirror features cape characters, bunny and bareheaded nurses smiling at students in brightly colored outfits and the outraged parents debated the mural's meaning during a school board meeting covered by wzzm a local grand rapids news station last week throughout the meeting in incensed parents claimed the artist intentionally subverted the mural's stay healthy theme to promote anti-christian messages is discrimination against christian beliefs he said they said it was hate material and they removed it by the way they will eliminate all elements including the mask and hamza hand and deviate from the original design submission that was approved by the administration they fucking owned this little girl covid really unleashed something primal in the heartland and i don't think there's been nearly enough attention paid to it vast swaths of the country are dominated by uh dominated or cowed by organized decentralized vicious morality police every library and school and city council and election public office public meeting is just now this the speakers even all look and dress the same sometimes the target isn't an actual child but often it is these hogs don't care there have always been these exact type of nasty stupid vicious losers who spent their pathetic lives making life miserable for others hell every neighborhood probably has one or more in general these losers are mostly just ignored in small town america they can't be add in the death of communities local news isolation and unlimited access to the networks of other vicious stupid losers around the world and you start to see why people had to get vaccinated in secret in much of the country i don't disagree with your assessment at all my parents now live in a rural town of southern indiana and the politics there are fully genocidal but reading this immediately made me think of my parents who were convi convinced that there was a transnational trench coat mafia in 1999 the problem is the largest media outlets take advantage of this conspiratorial and often genocidal desire and traffic in said conspiracies you get it what the fuck one in seven men and one in ten women in the u.s don't have a single friend what the fuck dude that is so sad why do you think we're here hasanabi well i mean i recognize this uh there's a part of the part of the reason why this community grew so rapidly during covid was because like there is a sense of community to the that you can foster on the internet to a certain degree. I try to maintain that sense of community here, and I also personally take advantage of that as well. That's why half the chat routinely makes fun of me and says, you're the most parasocial streamer I've ever seen. Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I, I rely on this just as much as you do. It is what it is. It's, that is still really sad, though.